Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn about multitask learning. As you may have guessed from the name, it has to do with learning more than one task. So as a formal definition, it's an approach to machine learning where two or more related tasks are trained or learned together in one model. So let's do get, look at these two diagrams to understand that better. So in the diagram on the left, by the way, these two images are from the paper Multitask Learning, which I highly, highly recommend for anyone to read if you want to understand more about multitask learning. So the image on the left shows us four different tasks that are being trained independently so they are being fed the same set of inputs into four different independent machine learning models to do predictions for four different tasks so this is an example of single task learning the image on the right is an example of multitask learning because we see here so we use the same set of inputs and this learner is required to learn four different tasks these four different tasks must be related for multitask learning to be beneficial so the key here is that um, we see in this in this image we see there's one hidden layer but in reality we can have more than one hidden layer which which is usually the case so here in this case we see one hidden layer and this hidden layer is being shared by all these four different tasks so this is what we call multitask learning so the key here is that when we when we train these four different related tasks together it what 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 is actually happening is the parallel transfer of knowledge as we can see so all these neuron all these output neurons are connected to the neurons on the hidden layer so the domain knowledge of this task helps the other task to learn better so in general this helps to improve the overall performance of all the tasks and also helps generalize the performance of the model The key question here is what are when should we use multitask learning? Meaning, as I mentioned in the previous slide, that the tasks must be related to, to get the benefits of machine learning, multitask learning. So the question is, when should we use multitask learning? And also, what should be shared? These two questions are really the key questions that will depend on the application, and there is no one straight answer for these two questions but to help you get started maybe we'll go through some examples so the first question is when to do multitask learning so for that we have to ask the question whether the tasks that we want to train together are related so as an example think of predicting different aspects of health for an individual so let's say you're given a uh, biodata for a single individual and you're asked to make predictions of whether this individual is likely to get certain diseases. So those uh, the likelihood of getting certain diseases is related because it will depend on the biodata for that individual. That's one example. And the second example is maybe a sound classification or localization problem. So in this case, if we want to know what is it let's say we have a sound and we want to know what what sound that is and also where the sound is coming from so these are two independent yet related tasks because they will depend on the same source of input so if these are two trained together in one model that is called multitask learning the there are many benefits of multitask learning and and those are all really, really well explained in this um, paper that I mentioned before. There's just one, one thing that we need to keep in mind. That is, for, for doing the multitask learning, we will actually need to label more data. What that, what that means is that, for example, 
let's say if I have this model and I want to train it to predict the object type and the object location for some sound source. So in this case, I would need to label the data for object, different types of objects, if I want to do this task. Also, I need to label the training data with the uh, uh, direction of that sound source. So train we have to train more data by by more what i mean is that we have to train different aspects of the data when we when we need to do multitask learning so that's one thing we need to keep in mind so the question is uh, this is something that confused me when, when i first started learning about multitask learning so the question is that uh is multi-class classification problem a multitask learning and the answer is no, because in multi-class classification problem, there is one task. So the task is that we want to, we have an image, for example, and we want to classify different objects in that image. For example, let's say you have an image and we want to know whether the thing in the image is a cat or a dog or some other animal. So we have, let's say, many different classes. So that's one problem. And it, this model here on the left just shows you um, what multi-class classification model looks like. So we have four different probability for four different uh, uh, outputs that are possible. However, on the right is an example of multitask learning. And the key difference here is that we can see we have set of inputs which are going into the model so same as here but the outputs here are different types of outputs so in this case we were making a classification of whether the output is belonging to what class um for for the problem at hand here we are we have completely independent tasks so we want to know what is the potassium level what is the mortality rank and what is the white blood cell count for a certain individual if we are given this set of data for that individual. So that's the difference between multitask learning and multi-class classification problem. So I know I only went through high level of multitask learning, but I will leave you with one question and feel free to answer in the comments. So the question is, we have these two uh, models in object detection, right? So this is faster RCNN model, and this is, for instance, segmentation, this is mask RCNN model. And if you want to know more about these, be sure to read the papers, uh, these two papers. So question is, are these two examples of multitask learning? Um, why I ask that question is because here, uh, we'll take faster RCNN as an example. So here we have an image and we have many, many convolutional layers. And then first we do the propose, region proposal network, which just tells you whether certain part of the image has an object or does not have an object. And then finally we do the classification. So we know there is an object and then we classify what that object is. So this is faster RCNN. And then for the mask RCNN, it's basically you have faster RCNN, but now you have a third branch, which also gives you the instance uh, masks for, which gives you the masks for different instances of an object. So the question is, are these two models examples of multitask learning? What do you think? So put your comments below and also the reasoning why. And that is it for this video. Thank you. And again, be sure to check out this paper for more details behind multitask learning. Thank you. Bye.